second graders, Mrs. Schulte here in the music room. I have made a video for you to practice the words to the poem that we are learning for the upcoming holiday program. You know, as I was picking out the music for the program, I thought it would be neat if we also added a poem. And we might as well add a longer poem because you're second graders and you're good at memorizing long poems now. So the poem that immediately came to my mind was The Night Before Christmas. And this is one of my favorite childhood memories. When I was your age, actually probably quite a bit younger, someone gave me this book the night before Christmas. And this is it. This is the real book that I've had since I was little. I loved this poem. I spent hours listening to it, looking at the pictures, and eventually learning how to read it myself. And I knew every single word by heart. This video is a picture is pictures of this book of each page that you'll be able to practice with if you look closely you're going to be able to see there's probably some dirty fingerprints there are some tears definitely a lot of tape on the pages but that's not because i treated the book poorly it's just because i used it so much because i loved it and i hope as you practice this poem that you are going to come to love it as much as i did have a great time learning this poem. Twas the night before Christmas when all through the house not a creature was stirring not even a mouse. The stockings were hung by the chimney with care in hopes that St. Nicholas soon would be there. The children were nestled all snug in their beds while visions of sugar plums danced in their heads. And Mama in her kerchief and I in my cap had just settled down for a long winter's nap. When out on the lawn there arose such a clatter, I sprang from my bed to see what was the matter. Away to the window I flew like a flash, tore open the shutters and threw up the sash. The moon on the breast of the new fallen snow gave a luster of midday to objects below. When what to my wandering eyes should appear but a miniature sleigh and eight tiny reindeer with a little old driver so lively and quick I knew in a moment it must be St. Nick. More rapid than eagles his coursers they came and he whistled and shouted and called them by name. Now Dasher, now Dancer, now Prancer and Vixen, on Comet, on Cupid, on Donner and Blitzen, to the top of the porch, to the top of the wall, now dash away, dash away, dash away all. As dry leaves that before the wild hurricane fly, when they meet with an obstacle, mount to the sky. So up to the housetop the coursers they flew, with a sleigh full of toys and St. Nicholas too. And then in a twinkling I heard on the roof the prancing and pawing of each little hoof. As I drew in my head and was turning around, down the chimney St. Nicholas came with a bound. He was dressed all in fur from his head to his foot and his clothes were all tarnished with ashes and soot. A bundle of toys he had flung on his back, and he looked like a peddler just opening his pack. His eyes, how they twinkled, his dimples, how merry. His cheeks were like roses, his nose like a cherry. His droll little mouth was drawn up like a bow, and the beard on his chin was as white as the snow. The stump of his pipe that he held in his teeth, and the smoke 
It encircled his head like a wreath. He had a broad face and a round little belly that shook when he laughed like a bowl full of jelly. He was chubby and plump, a right jolly old elf. And I laughed when I saw him in spite of myself. A wink of his eye and a twist of his head soon gave me to know that I had nothing to dread. He spoke not a word but went straight to his work and filled all the stockings, then turned with a jerk. And laying his finger aside of his nose, giving a nod, up the chimney he rose. He sprang to his sleigh, to his team gave a whistle, and away they all flew like the down of a thistle. But I heard him exclaim ere he drove out of sight, Happy Christmas to all, and to all a good night.